so guys uh, today we are going to um, study about uh, knockout procedure and we generally use uh, as a mice for producing so we call that uh, knockout mice and uh, let's see what's the procedure of making a knockout mice and what's the difference between transgenic mice and knockout mice and uh, so let's see first of all it's a basic procedure first of all you need to know what's the mean or what's the definition of knockout process so it is a uh, genetically engineered organism that carries one or more gene in its chromosome that has been made inoperative so you are going to make non-functional uh, either one or more scene in one case it will be calling as a heterozygous form or uh, more than one it will be called calling as homozygous knockout mice uh, we can say how what's the use of uh, making a knockout mice then primary use to replace the normal scene uh, with a mutant allele or a disrupted form of the gene knocking out the gene function so you either uh, replace a normal gene by a mutant allele or you can uh, disrupt it, the coding part of the that gene so that's uh, the procedure of knockout basically and uh, the product will be calling as knockout mice so uh, as you can see it's a uh, wild type mouse and uh, it's our gene of interest and uh, it's uh, in a functional way and it is uh, uh, about the coloration and it is going to give a uh, some kind of color of that mice and if he anyhow uh, disrupted that gene or non-functional that gene that uh, then you can see the phenotype changes in that mice now color have been changed from gray to red so in this process your mice will be calling as knockout product okay so uh, before making a uh, knockout mice you should know what's the basic difference between transgenic mice and knockout mice in transgenic mice uh, by the use of uh, uh, restriction technology you are going to enter a functional gene and uh, gonna get some functional gene in in product but in knockout mice you are going to enter a non-functional gene why are disrupted that gene or making that non-functional or getting a uh, phenotypically change so it's uh, about the entering non-functional or functional gene that's the basic difference between of two so in the restriction enzyme you are going to enter a functional gene and uh, in knockout procedure you are going to enter a non-functional gene that's the basic difference you should know now let's see how to create a knockout mouse okay so it's about choice of gene uh, and it is uh, uh, antibiotic resistant gene that is neomycin and uh, we going to put that in mouse so that uh, it would substitute your functional gene now it is have some specific character you should know it's it have marker gene that would help us to recognize transformant cell and non transformant cell other specific character about it is have it's have same uh, recombination site of same that have our choice of gene that's why it can uh, alter or it can substitute your functional gene that's why we chose it but uh, this have only marker gene and uh, it's a non-functional way okay it is blastocyst cells from uh, embryo of a fertilized mouse now we are going to isolate these cells we call that embryonal stem cells now uh, choosing of stem cells this is a very specific region I'm going to tell you choosing of them are very high specific reason because they have capability of creating a whole organ whole type of cells that's why we chose that because anyhow we altered these cells or changes these cells or changes our uh, choice of gene then it would automatically change all type of cells in mouse 
now we are going to put them in a agar plate with our choice of gene that is antibiotic resistant gene now it uh, we would fuse them by the process of electroporation now we have already talked about electroporation it is uh, about giving some high electric pulse of cell membrane it would change the porosity of a cell membrane it would create some pores in cell membrane and by the pore your choice of gene will enter your cells okay that's the basic procedure you should know now moving on now your choice of gene uh, will uh, substitute your functional gene by homologous recombination because it have same uh, recombination sites that's why it would alter your functional gene or substitute you can say so it have altered uh, these uh, red color cells are altered or you can say transformed cells after homologous uh, homologous recombination you can see these cells uh, red type of cells uh, that is different from other another cells it is transformed cells will have non functional neomycin resistant gene now you want to recognize or uh, differentiate transformant from uh, non transformant then you need to grow all type of cells in presence of neomycin resistant only uh, your altered cells your uh, transformant cell will survive in the presence of antibiotic non transformant cells will be dying so these are after selection marker these your altered embryon stem cells we are going to put them in another embryonal uh, blastocyst via the help of micro injection and uh, we have inject them and we would uh, inject the whole blastocyst into a pseudo prognant mouse that uh, after that you can see the phenotypically change in that specific mouse uh, and it would be creating or calling as heterozygous knockout mouse product if you want to uh, create a homozygous progeny then you have to fertilize it with a same heterozygous male okay uh, after fertilization you will get homozygous knockout mouse so in example you can see uh, we have this black female and uh, another brown female okay so we are going to isolate blastocyst stage embryo from black female and we are going to put uh, our altered es cells that have already uh, altered uh, your non functional or uh, knockout mouse on a uh, heterozygous condition we will put them into this blastocyst and it will having this hybrid es cells and we are going to put that into an in pseudo prognant mouse or you can say recipient mother surrogate mother and it would create a chimeric mouse that will have um, both both type of characters you can say its uh, uh, skin uh, color is brown and it is having uh, black stripes okay so this mice will be calling as uh, knockout mice so it's the basic procedure and we have changed into uh, this help of heterozygous form of es cells okay so it's the basic procedure and uh, if you have any problem then comment down below